Hello everybody, welcome back. Bella here. Hope you're having a blessed day. So today I will show you how to make this yummy pepper soup, chicken pepper soup. And I'll be having it with my ripe plantains. Look at that texture. It's not so thick, it's not too light, and it's just so yummy, pepperish, good. You know, right now the weather is transitioning, so it's a good time you know, for you to have some of it with the COVID and every other thing is a good way to cleanse your nasal system. So guys, if you want to see how I got this, stay tuned and let's get started. So first things first, guys, I'm going to need my green marinade seasoning. I have my green seasonings in here, ginger, garlic, and uh, every good thing. I have a recipe. I will link that below. Watch it. So guys, I'll put my chicken beyond cubes. That's my onion powder in there. I'll put it in there. Everything is granulated. That is my garlic and my ginger powder. They are all dry seasonings. I'll put my thyme. That's my black pepper. And beautiful people, I would just go ahead right now and I'll add my salt. It's like half a teaspoon of salt. So I'll put it on the fire and I'll just add my water in there. And then I'll steam it, like I'll boil it until it's soft. I'm using the hard chicken. It has been washed and the skin taken off because I don't like the skin on it. So I'll just go ahead and boil this. It's going to take a while. So I'll make sure that the water, you know, is at all times, is like above that chicken. I just want it to be really soft. So this hard chicken, if you have a pressure cooker or a pressure pot, feel free to use it. I will let it cook till the water is really, you know, down so it has been boiling for like 15 minutes and i'll go ahead and add my peppers in there i didn't blend these peppers because first of all if you have kids you don't need it to be too hot also if you cannot tolerate you know so much heat or if you have somebody who cannot tolerate as much heat make sure that when it's ready you can take it out without it necessarily you know bursting or something so i'll go ahead and add my white pepper to that blender i'm sorry guys i need to do the video and the cars are passing and i will need my jansa that's my baby I'm using just two one guys so i'm gonna go ahead and add my whole cloves feel free to add your black pepper in there and that is my country onions powder and i'll add in my one tablespoon of crayfish this is just for the flavor or aroma so that is still some of my you know green marinade mix ginger garlic everything onions and all whatnot is in there that is going to be my ginger and garlic powder that is my dry pepper i'm adding all of that in there guys that is my fresh onion that i'm just gonna blend so that is it too so i also added my pepper soup spices in there so i will just blend everything and you know make sure that everything comes together beautifully so guys i'll pause it because i want everything to be mixed and then i'll blend it like make it smooth as much as possible Feel free to add anything or reduce anything. Put your bay leaves in there too, not in the blending, like in the pot. I put it off camera. And make sure you, you put your thyme too. In Africa or in Cameroon, we have the thyme that is still on the stem or on the stick. Feel free to use that. But because my thyme right now is just, you know, powdered, you know, just the little flakes, I'll just go ahead and add it too. So this is my mixture. I already put it in there. And I'm adding my chicken beyond cubes in there. Put whatever kind of maggi that you want. And go ahead and stir it. Right now the aroma, the house is smelling so good. So just make sure that everything is coming together. So that's, that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. It has been boiling for like 15 more minutes. And look at it. The water is dry. It's thickening up. And my pepper soup is ready. This is the final look, guys. I boiled plantains and I put it to the side. Feel free, beautiful people. You can use, you know, plantains, yams, potatoes. Feel free. You can even put your plantains or your tuber right in that mixture. Like you can all cook it together if you want. Some people don't like it like that. Some people do like it like that. It's up to you. Whatever you want, whatever floats your boat, make it happen. 
you can always use ripe or unripe plantains yams potatoes sweet potatoes it's up to you you can even just drink your pepper soup like that so i have it with my ripe plantains guys this tasted so good yummy and it's worth it if you do this if you give it a try let me know how it went for you guys this is everything good yummy and a very good so you can even make it thicker and some people eat with rice some people eat with food food depending where you are coming from guys this is amazing until next time this is bella